What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be going to this kind of like a it's not a, a much abandoned mall It's like an empty mall that nobody goes to anymore that I was walking through a couple weeks ago And I saw this machine that said hype be something on it and I was like what is this because this mall has no sneaker stores It has literally like one finish line and that's it So I went over to it and I saw inside they had Travis Scott Jordan 1's Travis Scott Jordan 6 And it was actually a sneaker key master machine that's in this random mall not in a store no sneaker stores in the mall it's just there now if you guys don't know i went through a whole series of videos like uh, two years ago where i went and i went to these machines and i figured out how they worked i actually bought my own machine to see how it worked and I ended up putting that in sneaker con and made it free for people to play so they can win sneakers for free so i completely debunked the whole thing now this machine it's kind of a scam. I mean, some people wouldn't say it's a scam. It's kind of like the lottery or like a slot machine, but basically there's a threshold on each one of the slots that has a certain amount of money. Now you put a thousand dollar shoe in there, you put a $2,000 threshold. So $2,000 is paid out to that one slot. They will make it easier for you to win the game. What I want to do is I want to go to that mall and play until we win a sneaker and see if possible to win on a random person. Cause the other ones that we went to, they were sneaker stores. This is a random, like this is a random machine. We don't know if the sneakers are authentic. We don't know anything about it. So I'm curious to see, and I, and I want to actually go check it out. Now, since there's no sneaker store or anything there, you're wondering like, how would you win it? So I found out that they have an Instagram page that if you win, you DM them and you say you won, and then they'll bring you the other sneaker because there's only one in the machine. Now, the last time that I saw somebody win on this was June 21st, which was over like six weeks ago. They won a Jordan 1 tie-dye blue, but if we look in there, they have like Jordan 1 Travis Scott, Jordan 6 Travis Scott, PS5, Jordan 11 breads. So we're going to pick one thing to go for. We're gonna bring a couple hundred bucks and we're gonna see if we can win one and we're gonna play until we win So hopefully we don't take a massive L We also have to make sure that we don't get kicked out by security for trying to film and do all this So let's gear up. Let's head to the mall We actually have to go get some cash to make for this and uh, let's head to the mall This is weird. This is like an abandoned mall basically for this area I can't believe we're spending money on a key master again All right guys, so we made it to the mall. As you can see, there's some cars here, but uh, we're gonna walk in, we're gonna walk out of the machine, see what it's looking like, see what shoes we have, and then kind of go from there and see our gameplay. So the machine is up there on the top floor, if you guys look at that. So we just got here now. They have kind of a similar selection that we thought about. They have the Travis 1 6s. Now I kind of want to go for the size 11 Syracuse High. I think those are around three, 400 bucks. Party wants to go for the Travis. They've been here for a couple months, but I don't I don't know if what we have will get it done. What do you think, Nick? Mm, I think you need to go for something that you think has been gone for the most. So it could be the Travis, but I don't want to blow 500 and then not win it. They probably have that set pretty high. If it's still here. I feel like a lot of people have gone for it. I go for a once and see what the threshold looks like, and then I'll go. I'm gonna think the Syracuse. What do you think, Nick? Yeah, I would go for that then. I think that would be best because that's realistic and I can actually get it. So we have 500 bucks. First 20. Let's get it. One. All right. Let's see. You basically have a timer for each. Don't you win it first try? Imagine. See how the, this machine works. Ooh, this one does not have the uh, the jerk that is like obvious. Like that actually looks good. Most of them have like the jerk up after. That's like really. This makes you think you can win. All right, I'm, I think I should, should I keep going for the Syracuse. I think I should go for the Syracuse. All right, guys, gotta hop in this video real quick to shout out the sponsor that's making this possible because I just got my shipment in of Scentbird. Now, if you guys don't know, I've been working with Scentbird for the longest time. Now, they're one of my favorite companies that I work with. So you guys know it's summertime, it's nice and warm out, and you have to be smelling fresh during the summer with something like a nice punchy fragrance. That is where Scentbird comes in. So Scentbird allows you to choose from a new designer fragrance to try each month, and it's only $16 per month. Now, you can upgrade this to up to two to three different scents. Now, as you guys can see, I get multiple per month in on my subscription. But what I love about Scentbird is that this is the supply that you 
get right here. This is a 30 day supply of a fragrance. So you're not committing to an entire bottle of Kelowna perfume that is super expensive. You're getting to try it out for 30 days. And I feel like that that's amazing. You can move on to the next one the next month if you don't like that fragrance. Now, here are some of the ones that I got this month. As you can see, we got the Harmonist Guiding Water, Confessions of a Rebel right there. I really like this smell. And on the back of these cards, you get different scent notes of them. So you can remember these if you wanna go ahead and get this one again. Scentbird works directly with these brands. You get to pick from some of the top designer brands for different colognes. And if you're not sure where to start when it comes to different colognes, you can take some of the recommendations that I have or is it some that you've seen in the videos in the past. But Scentbird also has a fragrance recommendation quiz on their website so you guys can get a nice curated selection of what you might want for a cologne. So obviously I've been working with Scentbird so long that I think this is an amazing company. And just the fact that you can get a 30 day supply instead of committing the whole bottle, I think that is awesome. And you guys can use code Harrison2 to get your first month for only $11. That is code Harrison and the number two. And I also have a Scentbird app if you guys wanna go ahead and download that. So thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and making this possible. And I'm so happy to continue to be working with them. Felt it there. It jerked up for sure. Oh, you mean Kentucky? Oh, Kentucky, yeah. Syracuse. Oh, Syracuse is orange. And that's a size 11 in cents. So I'm gonna try to drop it a little bit early on this one to see if that'll help. Oh, no, that was good. Ooh. I haven't played this in a minute, guys. It did it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not ready. I saw it do that. I let go early. It's playing with you. It is. So we'll probably go into a time lapse as we go, and then when I see that it might be ready, we'll be there. I'm gonna tell you when I let it go. Ready? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is going way up. Gotta let it go earlier. It just keeps going. It, looks, it goes a long you time. You could really like, see it on that one. That like it just keeps time. going. Those Travis's had to have been in there for six months. Don't want to give it to you yet. It's not even close, but. I feel like the average person would walk by and see me doing this and be like, bro, stop, you're gonna lose all your money. The trick is guys, you keep playing on the same one. Don't jump around. If you're gonna commit, at this point, we probably already spent 150 bucks. You might as well just bought the shoes. we should have looked at something if you look at the color of the writing of the size one's blue and one's black i feel like that means the blue is newer because those are older items so i wonder if that's a factor it's like what if they just put this in at what point are we like do we like what if this is this is why i hate this because at first it's exciting and then it's like what if this goes to like two grand? When we sit here and put two grand on a freaking Syracuse, like, what do we do? So we have 220 cash left with five credits. So. We're halfway done right now. 250 already spent. Now, now is when we get nervous. So we have seven in there. We're almost down to the last hundred, then we're that's it for now. So 
we're down to our last 21. That's it. I don't know. It seems I'm a lot less hopeful than I was at the beginning now. this quick and nothing. How long has it been like? It's been like 30 minutes. Almost, almost 50. Oh, yeah. Gosh. <laughs> really, really give this one your all. <laughs> I don't know how to give more of my all. We'll see. What in hell? We have to regroup now. We can figure out what the next move is. Spent five hundred dollars. Got nothing. Now, I've learned a few things since being in there, and I should have done my research before. I think that shoe was put in there very recently because it looks like the shoes that have been there that I've seen in photos from weeks ago were labeled the size in black marker, and the newer ones were in blue marker. So I'm gonna research. I don't know what we're gonna do though. So if you look on their Instagram, one of the last shoes that's not in there that we went for, there was a Jordan 11 and we went for that hole. That was dumb because they just reset that. One thing that's been in there is the ASSC t-shirt. If we throw another 500 at that hole, I don't think it's gonna win. If we do a thousand total at the Travis's, I think it would have won. But we're kind of too deep now into this. So I feel like we can't really... <sighs> Nick, what do you think? I don't know, I just have a feeling like, it's kind of tough to change holes. I just don't think we can go for that, that one anymore because it's, I mean, it would be smart, like, maybe we should, it would be the smart thing, but also I don't think it's gonna win because it just was, like, the last photo, there's a different shoe there, so somebody won that recently. They didn't post it. It could have been a week ago. We better win. I just withdrawed 300 more. Oh, and it also better be 20s. If they're 100s, I'm screwed because the machine doesn't take 100s. Oh, God. Dang it. All right, guys, so we kind of regrouped. We got 300 bucks in 20s because they can only take 20s. I'm trying to look. We're dumb for going for that shoe. I should have thought a little bit more, but the other they have other shoes. The DMP Jordan 6s are in there. That's a $250 shoe, and that's been in there for a while, at least from, let's see, one of their first photos, it's still in there. So there was a, yeah, yeah. That shoe's got to be ready to go, and the Grape Fives. So I think we should go for the DMPs. Um, it looks like they move shoes around a bit, but that DMP's been there. The Travis is not, huh, they switched it around a bit, but I think the DMP is still staying in the same, yeah, because they had the uh, bread 11s in the tra where the Travis 1 slot is. There's an OVO jacket. I think the DMP pack, this will get it done. I think. 300 bucks, we'll get the DMP and we win. I could probably go for the ASSC shirt because that's been in there for a while, but I think that's a cop out. I feel like we have to get a shoe. This just shows you guys that um, we there's no we have, don't know the owner, we don't know anything. We're taking it out. I spent 500 on that one slot and we're not even gonna get to do anything with it now. So this we don't know the people own it. This is strictly our own money and some random machine. It would be hilarious if we walked back and that shoe was gone. Oh no, it's still there. Imagine if we came back and it was gone. How'd you feel, Nick? That would be freaking ridiculous. Let's go. <laughs> First try on the freaking lower. That's so funny. Oh my god. You hit Finally that. Finally got you hit that it. First try. try. Oh, it's stuck. I wasn't even looking oh, for that. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. We finally won the Bell's first try. I knew there was the odds that like something was ready, but I think we still gotta keep All right, going. You definitely gotta keep going. <laughs> finally, something for my money. It's 
not ready. What even is a small logo T ASSC? We got something. Dude, I wasn't even like looking for that when you hit it. That's not ready. Like, do I try the other two around it to see if they're ready? Because like I would have never known if I didn't try. I'm gonna go for the Travis High one time. We don't want off this 80. We're gonna take our W on the shirt and it's gonna be an $800 ASSC shirt. Last 20. Literally last 20. We just got one dub. See the slot, it's missing. That's where it was. I just wasted the whole last one. Bro. <laughs> T-shirt. So, we spent $800. This is what we have to show for it. I don't even know which model this is. We're gonna look up the value on it. This has been sitting in there for a while too. Like this bag, dusty. Look, I, look at the logo there. That's so faded. So we have, please be a cool one. I wish it was like the Porsche one or something. It's literally just the logo. It's literally just the logo. Stock X, $62, baby. It's a size small and we're gonna put it on. It's fresh, bro. <laughs> Dude, this is so small. I spent. $800 to get a shirt that doesn't even fit me. Dude, I think that's the sickest t-shirt you've ever had. <laughs> Too bad I'm not like Bradley Martin and I can't just like rip out of it because I'm have i not strong. I embarrassed myself, I spent $800. It has like a weird fade line too, I think. It's like kind of more black in the, or is that just where it's been folded up? Dude, what is that? <laughs> it's not even faded right. <laughs> Dude, I guess, 75,000 likes, we're going and we're getting this shoe. But the thing is, that shoe looks so much more faded than this. It's really faded. Like, this is like a proper, this is this is dead stock. These have never been worn, they've never sat in the sun really. But for 75,000 likes, we'll go do it. I would guess that would take two grand, at least. Do you think, Nick? Probably, at that rate, it was taking forever. Well, thank you guys for watching. I came and played the Keymaster and this is all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I take LSU, your guys' enjoyment. Please leave a like down below and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. This is Derrickson signing out.